Good morning, everybody. This is Imaginary Dream for day 12 of Big Area. This is going to be a personal journal to self-critique and learn from the poses in the past day of February. I'm a little bit behind on the videos, um, obviously, since this is like the 22nd, 23rd when it's uploaded, and this is only day 12. But if you want to see the latest sketches by me, for whatever reason, you can follow the Instagram Imaginary Dreams 95 to see the latest February drawings that should be uploaded on the day. So with that said, let's get started with this self-critique and learning. It's one of these things where I have a little bit trouble with these side angle views, especially with the waist here of how the stomach and leg flows into one another. It really looks a little bit awkward here. And sometimes I would also make the butt a little bit flat. But in this case, it is somewhere in the middle. I've drawn like flatter before, but her body is sort of fairly straight. But then here, I kind of made it wider and then here is too short. So one side is too wide, one side is too short. And today's day, um, looking back, I really struggled quite a lot with a lot of these poses and I'm not too happy about it, but let's see what we can learn from our mistakes. Next pose is slightly better and a little bit more accurate with like the curves on the legs once again. Arm here is a little bit too short I feel and here is stretching out okay but still not quite long enough. Head is a little bit too short and should be slightly bigger and my mistake again to not have enough space on the paper or save enough space and make the whole body proportional causes this sort of leg to get a little bit too short. But since this leg is bent over, then it's just about as long as the other side. But the main reason why I think this does still does not look as correct is I kind of angle it as if it's come forward when this leg is directly diagonal. So a little bit better, um, but let's see at the next one. And so the next one is where, once again, kind of like struggle a little bit since it's rather flat and then I just feel like it's too flat in the drawing and missing out a lot of shape. So I just try to like put down these curves since it's like a slender shape, but I still don't think this is sort of the right way to uh, go and go and draw personally. We'll try to find like what are the other ways when drawing people uh, in the side view. But here, once again, not enough space on the drawing, so my bad. But this leg down here, just a small cherry of this shitty thing, um, came out quite okay. But we'll definitely try about like what to do about this angle. Even though it's like it's kind of correct, it's in this angle, but the drawing looks flat. So in figure, figure drawing to me needs to be a little bit more dyna dynamic and three dimensional. Looking at the next one now is a more sort of standing pose, a little bit more standard. One side of the leg is. A little bit above the other this side looks like it's bending in and then a small bending outward kind of exaggerate this lower area too much looks almost like her knees have broken into head is a little bit too small needs to be more oval shaped but the clothing on the side with the arms coming out is kind of okay this side might be not long enough this side is a little bit too short on the left side of the screen but we have like sort of nice angle it's sort of curved here and then having the angle here so, so this I, I think this one is a little bit better than the previous sketches overall moving on i really like sort of this pose this close clothing drape over it just has this sort of overall nice a uh, clean shape just flowing down and barely have enough space on the top end chin could come up a little bit more more pronounced 
I'll say she has very fine uh, shoulders. The side looks like it could be a little bit longer, doesn't look too even. I don't think there's anything more to say. Since this was a two minute sketch, a little chance to sort of sketch out the shadows. To do a little bit more with the shadows on her back here to indicate more form. And again, if we could draw a few lines over, things are a little bit like quite close, quite close. I'll say the main thing is the head area where obviously this head is a little bit too tall at this point. And so everything starts to get a little bit too tall on the upper area of the body. The last final pose. This her kind of smile looks a little bit creepy, uh, but it's neither here or there. We have this sort of hair flowing over to try to sort of draw the shape of it overall, and then sort of giving it hatch lines to end that indicates the direction of where the hair is actually going, coming out of her hair. So it would be going up, and then it goes down. So it goes well sort of down. This is very interesting pose of like two hands crossing each other kind of draw her uh, shoulders a little bit too large at first and then try to fix that trying to bring them a little bit down but even this side of the shoulder I think is a little bit too long and then this one is a little bit more straight but this is already curved all the way down leg seems to be a, maybe a little bit too short and that's why the hands need to compensate or I don't know I need to look at a, a little bit more of like the, the placement of the knees so if the knees are placed more correctly then the hands don't have to go as far um, to reach out for them but that would be the end of day 12 once again if you just want to sort of follow along with figure and the drawings that i do and the sketches trying to improve uh, follow me on instagram imaginary dreams 95 and subscribe to the YouTube if you want to see the sort of self critique journal in the future. And with that said, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.